Hello and welcome to the Bible Study Podcast with Reverend Dr. Judd Grant Enning and myself, Evangelist Mrs. Jacqueline Enning. On this podcast, we will be diving deep into the rich and timeless truth of God's Word, taking life lessons from biblical characters and explaining hard to understand theology from the Bible. So get your Bible, your notebook and pen, and let's study God's word together. So we thank God so much for another time, Reverend. We pray that the Spirit of God will lead you through his word so he can speak to us. We pray that uh, he will guide you, he will direct you, and teach you so that you also teach us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I hand over to you to continue with us. Thank you so much. And uh, we give glory to the Lord for making it possible for us to continue with the series that is before us. Friends in Christ, we have been considering the theme who is Jesus. In other words, we've been seeking to find out the identity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we continue with one of the key identities of Christ, and that is Jesus is our reconciliation. Jesus, our reconciliation. And for our anchor scripture, we want to consider Romans chapter 5, verses 10 and uh, 11, which reads, For if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom? we have now received reconciliation. Jesus, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Friends in Christ, the word reconciliation in normal everyday usage often refers to a move that brings together in a peaceful manner restoration restoration of persons or parties or groups that have become separated due to certain misgivings misunderstanding disputes or conflicts often the move for reconciliation involves one party taking the initiative to restore the broken relationships or fellowship in an effort towards bringing about peace Thus, Jesus' identity as our reconciliation refers to the nature and purpose of his atoning death on our behalf. His death serves as the bridge through which sinful humanity in repentance can reach out to the already outstretched hand of God in his offer of grace, of love, and forgiveness, the offer of a welcome to anyone who comes to him through Christ. Jesus, therefore, is the bridge of reconciliation to God. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, reconciliation, therefore, points to God as the initiator who seeks the return of sinful man. Man's indulgence in sin in the first place, brought about the separation between him and God. It is not like God separated, but it was man who by virtue of his son separated himself from God. God, by his very nature of love, has always desired fellowship and peace with man. Thus, as Paul put it, in Romans chapter 5 and verse number 8, 
For God demonstrates his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us as the means, as the channel of reconciliation back to God, back to God for restoration, for restoration of fellowship with God. Friends in Christ, the scripture portrays sinful humanity as aliens and hostile or in enmity against God. As Colossians chapter 1, verses 21 and 22, I put it. And you who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now brought, reconciled in his own body, the body of his flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. The redemptive blessings made possible to the believer in Christ by virtue of Christ being our reconciliation is quite tremendous and beyond human imagination. For example, because of the reconciliation in Christ, Christians, have, among many other things, direct access to God. As the scripture tells us in Romans chapter 5, verse 2, and Ephesians chapter 2, and verse number 18. Not only that, by virtue of the reconciliation of Christ, the believer has peace with God. As Romans 5, 1, and Ephesians 2, 16 and 17, are put it. The unending blessings of the reconciliation in Christ is such as to awaken in the believer a surge of praise and adoration to God. The surge of praise is to be made evident in the quality of our service to God, his church, and society at large. Friends in Christ, as the saying goes, with every privilege comes a responsibility. God would have this message of reconciliation, this message of welcome, this message of restoration, this message of invitation, reach everywhere in the world, I believe this. To this effect, he has appointed every believer as an ambassador of reconciliation. As Second Corinthians chapter 5, Verses 18 to a 20 would have us no. I read, and all is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making his appeal through us, we implore you in Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. This is the good news. Worthy of proclamation. Friends in Christ, may we ask for the strength and courage of the Holy Spirit to fulfill this mission, this mission of reconciliation as Christ's ambassadors, ambassadors of reconciliation, bringing people back to God. May God bless you, beloved brother, beloved sister, as you do so to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Oh, God is so wonderful. God is so loving. Look what manner of love the Father has loved us. We stand against him and he sends Jesus to come and reconcile us unto him. Praise be the name of the Lord. People of God, the Bible is speaking. God, through Paul, also appeals to us that we should also preach the message of reconciliation. People of God, we should be people who bring peace into the lives of others. We should be people who reconcile one another. Thank you so much, Reverend. 
Thank you for allowing yourselves to be used by the Lord. God bless you. May he increase your oil. May he strengthen you and replenish you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope today's topic blessed you as much as it blessed us. We would love to hear from you. So leave a question or topic you might have or want us to cover on this podcast. If you want to be part of our community and grow with us, then please subscribe to our channel, Daily Christian Living. We upload new content every day. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you do not miss any updates. Please give us a thumbs up and share this video if you found this topic helpful. This has been the Bible Study Podcast on Daily Christian Living with Reverend and Evangelist Enin. God bless you. Until next time, bye-bye.